And that's why y'all getting it. Y'all getting it. Good, good. I'm like, I Yeah, but the, the thing is, you have to put a name on it, and that's the shoes I on the lease. Like I forgot that. Oh, so that's why. Like, You're light. Like, yeah. But, uh, and we do like an initial walkthrough for the owner. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 would, I would talk to you. I try not to film nobody while I'm doing it. No, you could, I wanted him to film you on purpose because I'm only trying to get sued by her lawyer. Oh, yeah, I got no. you doing the right thing? Yeah. I have 11 kids. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when you all were in your head and they have nowhere to f***ing go. Uh, excuse me, what's no, here? I, when you were laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. And now where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, I'm so fucking pissed. So we just gonna sit in the truck and in the cars and just watch mom do everything and hold the baby at the same time? Okay. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The band is never gonna... Welcome to the 307th episode of the Tenants from Hell show, y'all. And we are going to do something a little different today. What I want to do today is give you guys some more insight into some of the things that you love watching and you're currently looking at on your screen right now, right? I get a lot of you that come here because, well, you're just basically like the kind of people that like looking at car wrecks, right? You just, you're driving on the highway, you see a freaking mangled up car and you can't help but look, right? But we get a lot of other people who watch this show who are interested in learning about the real estate process, investments, housing laws, the eviction process, things of that nature. And a lot of people are out there trying to learn, and we get a lot of tenants too, a lot of tenants who are facing eviction themselves, and they're trying to figure out exactly how the eviction process works. And just we get a lot of audience members that are just kind of confused at what it is they're seeing, right? So what I'd like to do is take the time to kind of explain to you guys how the eviction process actually works, actually transpires, because, you know, there's just some confusion out there. Now, one thing to note is every uh, state is going to have varying eviction policies, um, and there's, you know, minor detailed changes and things of that nature, right? Uh, the majority of the evictions you see on our show, a large portion of them is going to be specific to Ohio, and we operate through that entire state. We, we operate elsewhere as well, but like a lot of the stuff you're going to see uh, is Ohio. So we're going to kind of talk about the Ohio process, and a lot of other areas are, are pretty similar to this, uh, but there's going to be slight changes. But if you're looking for a general understanding of how the eviction process actually transpires and looking for some color on like what it is you're seeing on eviction day, uh, this will apply to that, right? So a lot of people, especially liberals, right? You get those woke liberals out there, the bleeding heart liberals. They're always crying and whining, thinking the landlord is the bad guy on eviction day. They're like, oh, how could you make that family homeless? How could you kick out a single mother? And then we also get people that say things like, oh, it's okay. They can't evict you if it's snowing or if it's raining or you can't get evicted in the winter months. That's not true. Uh, if the eviction is scheduled, it doesn't matter if it's a friggin' hurricane out there. You're getting thrown out, okay? Um, and then again, that leads to people whining and crying that landlords are evil and you just need to give these people a chance, right? So the first uh, like major myth I'd like to bust on that is that it just happens out of nowhere. That is not how it happens in any way. If a person is actually being evicted on actual eviction day when we show up with the cops and the bailiffs and the movers and you see us taking all your crap and throwing it in the trash... You have known about that day for a very long time, right? That day is put on your calendar. So it's not like you don't pay rent on the first and then I show up with the police to your house two days later and then we toss you. That's not how it works. So all you whiners and criers and liberals out there who think of victim people and evicted parents and all this makes the landlord the bad guy, you are idiots, okay? You are complete idiots. The only reason you think that is because, number one, you're stupid, and number two, you don't know what's going on, right? 
So the way the eviction process works, let's just assume a tenant is supposed to pay their rent on January 1st. Okay, January 1st comes and goes. They don't pay rent. So then, uh, you know, we call them for a few days. Hey, where's your rent? Where's your rent? Where's your rent? And then they, you know, make up excuses or they don't pay their rent, right? So then we have to go out. We give them a notice. We issue a notice to them saying, hey, you got to pay your rent okay, in X amount of days, or we are going to evict you, right? And then that comes and goes. They don't pay their rent. So then we file the eviction with the court, okay? And this is how the court process works, folks. It takes time. It's not like you go on the 10th and you file the eviction and then the court date is the 11th. No, no, no. Court dates are usually pushed back. That's, of course, going to vary based upon municipality, based upon the amount of people that are filing for evictions at that time. Uh, but generally speaking, what I'm used to seeing is a court date that is typically between four and six weeks out from the notice expiration, okay? You have your notice expiration and then four to six weeks later, right? So at this point, you know, it's very possible uh, for a tenant, right, to have already had like, you know, two months knowledge uh, of the fact that they are not paying their rent. Then you go to court, you win the court case. Uh, if it's a non-payment of rent, it's very, very hard to lose those. So you go in there, you, you win that court case, okay? Then after you win that court case, you're given the date, the setup date, the writ of restitution, the date that y'all love seeing. That's what you see on the show. That's what you see in the video. That's what you're looking at right now while I'm talking to you. That is the actual eviction date, the day we throw all of your crap out into the garbage, okay? That date is usually like two weeks after you win the court case. And remember, the court case is four to six weeks after the expiration of your notice, which is either going to be a three or 30 day notice, depending on municipality. Okay. So at this point, you are no longer uh, in January. If again, we're talking about a tenant who didn't pay their rent on January 1st, right? You're easily three, four, sometimes five months into this process, right? So when you see us show up, that particular person has known for, you know, Minimum two months, sometimes three, four, five months can be even longer depending on municipality or depending on what's going on or how fast the landlord chose to act, okay? So you're multiple months out, right? And then sometimes when we get there, the tenant, if they were smart, they moved out like the day or a couple days before the actual move out date so they could avoid all that trauma. And then when you see that, that's us just kind of clearing out whatever they've left out. Sometimes that happens. Or the craziest ones are when you get there and they're still hunkered down. They're bunkered down in the house. They are literally still there. And they're like, oh, we didn't know. We need more time. You don't get no more time at this point. That's why it don't matter if it's raining, if it's five degrees outside, if there's six feet of snow, if it's a freaking hurricane. It don't matter, bro. You've had multiple months that's it. There ain't no more time. We don't care what you have to say. And all you liberals that think we should care what they have to say, well, you're an idiot. And now maybe you're a little bit more educated because now you understand like, oh, shit, I didn't realize that they've been giving them multiple months before we got to this. I didn't realize they've been stealing from this person for like half a year. OK, that's why it don't matter. Right. And that's when you see us throw everything they got. And then a lot of times, too, what you'll see is uh, we'll get there and like the tenant is still there and they're trying to like move their things out of the house and like they're still trying to do that as we get there. And then once we get there, we assist them. OK, so if they're in the process of still boxing their stuff up and our crew gets there, we're getting your ass out of there. So you're going to be done within like the next 20 minutes, whether you want to be or not. So that, folks, is how the eviction process works. That is a little bit more color on all of the evictions and things that you see here on Holton Wise TV. And what I will do now is go ahead and leave you with uncut, uncensored footage of some of the eviction day. Uh, video clips that you've been watching why I've been explaining all this to you so you know pop this on your tv or pop it on your ipad sit around we'll play you out with like another hour or two of just all types of eviction carnage and if you have any more questions on the eviction process feel free uh, to drop them in the comments below uh, and uh, enjoy she goes cool well, just to let you know uh, my my boyfriend already broke into the house knocked the window out and, and I 
she basically was like, he kicked the window out and I saw it and went in. And I took my TV and like all my electronics and stuff back because I couldn't wait. So like, now we're going to meet back up with her. But so in between, I like went to the police station and, uh, you know, kind of like reported it to let them know like, hey, this, this lady knocked the window out and broke into the place. That's fine. Let me, yeah. let me yeah. keep my taser on real quick in case they do get fucking shitty. <laughs> He loved the youth ball play to go to. He said he wasn't waiting. Here, hold on. Pull it over so you can put him in there real quick or something. What? I'm not. How am I going to move shit and hold a baby? Is that right there? Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop. 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 <laughs> I have 11 kids. Yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when you all lay in your head and didn't have nowhere to fucking go. Uh, excuse me, what's no, here? I... When you were laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. Now, where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. So, so we're just going to sit in the truck and in the cars and just watch mom do everything? <laughs> and hold the baby at the same time. Okay. All right. Well, you got you got two hands, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? Mom's a miracle. She can fucking do everything, right? I'm like, seriously, let me go do the washer. I need an Allen key, though. I mean, you better bring it on there. You know what? I got two of them here. We were just like, we were literally just fighting at the U-Haul place. Like literally, like I'm putting my hands on a man that I know I can't beat. Like seriously. Like, Who's that? And my baby's father. I'm like, ah, just drive. Go to Lakewood. I don't want you to leave. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, I was so mad. I'm like, they fucked up my U-Haul. They get me shot out of the car. I know it's heavy. Oh, no, I'm, I'm emotional. Yeah, I am. But I know how to control it after a little bit, you know. Sure. Yeah, do I want to go through the ceiling? Yes, I fucking do. <laughs> but, sure. you know. Yeah, I know, it sucks. Uh, it was, uh, what, was, mean, what was the whole story? Like, what all happened? Because I know you... Well, I was paying rent. Yeah. Remember? And then, sure. Okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. So come to end of it, then I see an eviction every three months. Mm -hmm. So that's when I'd go and drop the twenty one hundred dollars or the eighteen hundred, and you guys see. Yeah. And you know what? Because it would be I, like three months of rent, is what you're saying. Yeah, so you, you see would... what? I, if you go back and look at the paperwork, I was I was doing it because Katie, the one that you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five year restraining order on him. Mm -hmm. I seen him when he brought the cops over here trying to take my BMW because the plates are on in his name. Mm -hmm. And I told the cops, I said, no, that's my BMW running it. And they were like, oh, no, that's hers. You could take the plates off and plus they're expired. Yeah. So, I mean. So, what, he just showed up and, like, knocked the window out on you or something no, like that? No, he came up here that's with true. the cops. And I'm like, the cops came out. I'm like, what's going on? I was cooking dinner. I was like, what's going on? And the cops yeah. were like, uh, he wants to get his car out of here. I was like, number one, my that the car couldn't move the Sentra mm -hmm. because I was in an accident. Mm -hmm. So, I had to get investigated and all this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, after that, then... Um, I'm like, well, I could get towed out of here or pushed out of here, but uh, he's like, well, that's the BMW. I said, I got all the paperwork in the car. You want it? Like, what kind of drugs are you on, dude? I could see somebody smoking pot or something, but when you're stealing from people and yeah, stealing, sure. you know, it, it's habit. worse than that, dude. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I have 11 kids, you know, and God, don't take from me. You know, I'd help anybody in a heartbeat, but like, just lift it up, put your hand underneath and lift it up. Yeah, there you go. So how'd like the how'd like the window thing come to be? Because I know you you you, you like came in and told me like what did he like show up over here and knock this thing out and like oh. yeah it's because that's what you were saying like the dude like oh, showed dude, up yeah and, my son was asleep yeah and I'm like what the fuck happened to the window no I'm yeah. talking about the window in the kitchen oh uh, yeah yeah you got your TV and stuff bad yeah right? but they did like, no we got all our TVs I got a phone call at two thirty in the morning uh -huh. and the neighbors got cameras that it was open you're saying yeah the window or whatever no 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 the neighbors got cameras talking about that he was around here and so she'll call me and whatnot gotcha. so I said okay so I I guess the back door was locked unlocked okay so when we came over here the back door was unlocked so I, I did come in the house you know I said I'll call that I don't give a shit because sure. I got a 65 and 75 inch you know you all this shit that I had sure I told you so no I don't know we were just looking look up look upstairs no but they were, they were right in the there. dining room they were right there right. you know a lot of I had monitor but broke very said, loose so I yeah, think what do you mean a lot of shit was taken out of here I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about it, nigga, because I'm the fuck. 
Yeah. Bitch, I know you don't I care. I don't give a fuck if you care. What did they could be throwing the shit well, down I, on there? I don't give I, a fuck. That's the stuff on the front stairs is mine, but everything else isn't mine. Well, my sons go ahead. The next day is when the um the window was boarded up and the door was locked because I yeah. double checked. Because I tell you, I come over here every day to make sure nothing comes up missing, nothing's out of place. Because you know, I don't really want it to fall back on me. You know that. Sure, yeah. Well, I mean, it was going through in the end, but God, you know, but. No, I don't want them to come in here and start living in the house, smoking it up like it's a crack house or something. My shit's in here. You know what I'm saying? Do damage to the property. No. Sure. Not as long as my shit's in here because, like, this shit's going to get cleaned up before I leave. I'm not that type of person. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not dirty. I'm not. But I'll be damned if somebody takes my shit and I worked hard for mine. My, my daughter just broke my 75 inch flat screen TV. We just had it up in the house for a week. He took my 60. I had a 65 inch in here and I had a 75 inch in the box stuff. So. He took the 65 inch, put it in his room. Yes, <laughs> There's something in it for you. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does his streaming or what do you do? Like the, what game do you play now? A lot. On the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Fortnite, Red Dead Redemption. So like, so he took the 65 inch and then my daughter had a, um, my granddaughter got brought home with a whole bunch of toys. Mm -hmm. And there's this kitty toy that I can't stand. So I just keep kicking it down the stairs. Well, all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, Oh, I knew my TV was crap. You just say it showed up like that, you're fine. <laughs> I like that though. But see, that's the whole thing because it came here. Yeah. It got delivered here. Mm -hmm. Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I... And it's at a new house. Put it on the side. God. Where's the crew? From daycare. Great. You know, that's in kit to tages as hell. Imagine if uh, that was your... Damage is that shit wasn't from me. Yeah, was is it for here? That court? Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. What's what's the it's a property? I think I got the paperwork. I mean, because I said I'll take oh, financial responsibility. You know, I'm a good person, I'm not gonna fuck nobody over. Like, I was on, I was raised by a Marine, I was too right, you know, straight to the point. No bullshit, you pay, you pay. Sure. You no, know, no, the day I was supposed to go to court, I'm gonna kill you a clinic with her. So I didn't even go to eviction court. I'm like, man, I hope it's not on my record. And when the bailiff came in here, he's like, you're not even on the lease. Josh just got an estate charge. Oh, uh, he's getting charged as an adult. Huh? Where do you see it from? The uh, Star, uh, Star County. Star County is coming to pick him up. He's a juvenile. He's 18, and he was uh, sent over from ODYS. You know, as doing. Juvie life, basically, to your like, going on. Um, I guess he just walked up to the gate, just that he's gonna leave. So now they're giving him a state charge. Should be good to go, right? Everything's out yep. of the kitchen, yeah? yeah okay, so. and then just in the back door, that's fine. That's cool. I appreciate you so yeah, much. Yeah, no, no problem. There's a back door with like a, it's like a deck, but it's so overgrown. Ooh. I meant to text you last night and ask you how many locks you had, because we stopped at the office before we came. I should have some, as long as it's no more than like three or four. And even if you got to mismatch them, it's whatever. We can yeah, always we'll come back out. out. Right. Um, I got a... I don't know if... <laughs> are we boarding it up? Or... Uh, I didn't mention it about boards. I mean, we kind of anticipated them moving, like breaking back in, because I think this house over here with the boards, mm -hmm. I think that's where they hang out when they're not. That one? Because the last time they were down here for the eviction. 
even like three, four blocks that way, it's like Rocky River almost. Really? Yeah. yeah. The other one, we, we got one on Delhi there. I just gave him a three day. And driving to it, I don't know where the border is. But you go from like real nice to hot. Real quick. Mm-hmm. You're gonna walk through and yeah. record it before the movers take it. Okay. That one just yeah, yeah. Like big. Yeah. And then uh, I have Vince's iPad. Sean wants me to do a quick bid while I'm here, so. You might as well maybe walk in with the bailiff. Well, I'll wait for the bailiff to give us the all clear, because I mean, technically, I can't go in until he says it's safe to go in. Right, good point, good point. So. Oh, look at that. They got that power on one way or another, dude. Look, they broke the box off. Did it? Yeah. They were calling last week, and I was like, we need to put the... We need you to call the electric company and let them know it's okay to put it in our eight-year-old son's name. And I was like, I'm not doing that. You're going to evict it in like 10 minutes. Yeah, you're not going to live in or something. You're going to live in that. That makes sense. Well, they're good. They just broke that meter right there. Mm-hmm. Why won't it work? It's kind of ballsy to put the meter back on instead of just wiring it straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd get rid of it and be like, someone stole it, dude. Oh, my gosh, someone stole my meter. That's and, why we don't have power on. And hot-wired my house? What? <laughs> This is the second time I've come here and immediately had to piss, too. <laughs> How many places do you operate down here in Akron? The one I posted on, this one, and we just picked up a third. Yeah, three here in Akron, three in... I think it's four, four or five in Canton. Okay, yeah, Canton has more. Did I tell you over the weekend? So Friday, I did like a powerlifting thing on Saturday, so I had to go down Friday to weigh in, and... uh I needed to take pictures of that new, like, seven-unit building we have. Mm-hmm. There's a fucking homeless guy making camp in the parking lot. I'm like, bro, you got to go. I got to take pictures. Uh, you can't be here. <laughs> For insurance. <laughs> like, you, you, li- you living here right now is a liability that we can't afford. But, yeah, Canton is wild, man. I'm trying not to... Seven unit banger down there, huh? yeah. yeah, fully occupied. Dude wants to spend a ton of money too. Ooh. He's trying to renovate one of the units to add a bathroom. He wants to add a laundry room. Bailiff went inside, right? I saw yeah, him go in there. Okay. He's just kind of clean it. Did he didn't look like he had a gun? I didn't notice. Yeah, you know, hey, I don't get it. Probably one in there somewhere. Yeah, and there's Can't only right? you're only rolling one beef, dude. What <laughs> if you get into some shit? I think that's like the only thing that Cleveland does right is they always have at least four like four bailiffs there. Cleveland gets fucking rowdy, dude. Remember the one uh-huh. that we were waiting on them and they never showed up and then we saw in the news like there was a shooting? Yeah. Like, oh that, that's why. They killed someone before they got to us. Yeah. You did lock that, right? Because I left the iPad on the seat. Yep. Okay. Can you zoom in the pictures on these? Uh, I don't know. I, I think can, I, can. I can figure out how to do it. I, just, I had it sit on the desk. It's like far away. I think they have to do it in, like, whatever they use to, like, edit it. Oh. Uh, so they just zoom in on the software. Because gotcha. it well, does, like, a super wide-angle lens. I'm just going to give this to you guys before I leave. Okay. Perfect. So that way you guys can take whatever you need off of it. Yeah, this, his webcam kind of, his body cam kind of suck because it's like, I got to put it on my belt. I don't have like a vest that they would normally. You put it in between your uh, collar. If then it hangs, Morning. it just points down. We get it right this time? You guys with Holton Wise Property Group? That's right. us. Sir, absolutely. How you doing today? Good, good. I just nice. talked to them. Right, nice to um, what do you guys want to do? They, they say they got some movers and I'll probably 
yeah, so, done in about half an hour. Or yeah, we like got that. um <laughs> our movers. I know they but they were moving stuff out, so I don't know if our movers. I told our movers basically they could help help them load up. Okay. The yeah, they all was. seem fine. Yeah. And yeah. there's not that much. I mean, there's some stuff in the living room there that seems like be the main main thing. As long as you guys are fine with stuff, I'm fine with stuff. It don't matter to me. Yeah. So I just I gotta figured. get some pictures before the movers move. Our movers move everything out. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we're good to walk through. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, our movers can help them, and then whatever they don't want, we can put on the screen on. And then... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whatever stuff they're supposed to be in, and then they can leave whatever they don't want to leave. Okay. Oh, and then yeah. stuff. As long as everybody works together, we're all good. Yeah. So. Um, You guys saw the message about bagging stuff up, right? Yeah. To just do the trash out, bag it. I guess that's probably okay. I won't won't be too bad if they're mix matched a little bit because I mean there's a chance we'll have to come back anyways for right. Oh there is a security. Probably. No, they are. Right? Oh, you walked in there? You walked... No, it's from a different house. Where'd you and get poison uh, ivy at? The place in uh, Lyria. Uh, that was really overgrown. Oh, the one that seconds. we just bought? One, two, one. Yeah. Dude, the place was just riddled with shit. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that place. He had me go do the initial, like, uh, like grab the keys and make sure it was secure, like, initially. Right. And I'm like... I don't even know how to get in here. Right, right. I had to clear all that shit out of there. And I had long sleeves on and everything. And somehow it still got, got me. Dude, my arm is terrible. I mean, it's just bubbles. Blisters oh, under God. You want to walk through? Yeah, I'm going to come through with you. Just because if I did the initial walkthrough, I can hand this off to Derek and do the bid. Sorry. It's not working. It's, I don't really have a light here to. I guess I could turn the light. Yeah, their lights don't work. I need the. I need the what you call it light. Yeah, but the, the thing is, you have to put a name on it, and that's she's on the light. Yeah, that's oh, that's why. Light. Your light. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We do like an initial walkthrough for the owner. Yeah, you know, yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would, I would talk. I try not to that's film probably. nobody while. You, I'm no, doing. you could. I wanted him to do it on purpose because I only trying to get sued by her lawyer. Oh, yeah, I got no. you doing the right thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm your car real quick. I forgot the light in there. You need me to carry it for you? No. Yeah. 
Actually, hey, yo, he, doors? he might. He might be able to get away with not doing the back door. Ain't no lights in this bitch, dog. Yeah, so this is dark. That ain't makes it more difficult. I ain't gonna need that. Big dog. Need to hire your ass. Let's see this shit, man. Pick that shit up. It's easier. Every one of these sides will probably go over there. Shit, I might need to hire y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's do good work, man. Right, yeah, Thompson's the rules. Alright, and then. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I think he's probably downstairs. Oh, okay. Because he's got to get the. I got you. I thought he was up here. He'll get pictures of the. Uh... Is that a big bathroom? Yes, yeah, so he's rather. I thought this was a bedroom. Yeah, right? Started on that bed. That way we can uh, yeah, I got you. get in and out of here as quick as we can. We gotta go to camp. Uh, yeah, right? Oh, we're halfway there. Yeah. I got you. Since it's the hair, they might as well. Yeah, all the trash stuff on top, they gotta be bagged up. All the, well, I mean, bulk items and stuff probably don't, right? I think John essentially wants to do the trash out. Uh, if they're gonna pay, pay him for to be here, anyways. Yeah, well. right. So, all right, well, we'll let them move, and then, yeah, I think they'll just probably take whatever's left. Okay. The curb. I'll let them know they gotta bag it, though. Is that, are they down in the basement? Right? Yeah, they're getting the washing machine right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were upstairs. I was. Uh, I went. I up did. There. I went up there. I went up to the third floor. Too. Oh, okay. Oh, they're in the attic. Yeah, there. The bathroom's pretty big. Yeah, it's a very big bed. Yeah, it was funny. The dude that was helping him has the dolly right there, and he's like, "Hey, can you guys help me with this laundry machine? I got the dolly." And Tom's just goes, "We don't need a dolly." Right. Like, Shit, I might that. have to hire you guys. Go ahead and keep this dolly. Right. There's a lot of stuff here. Got a lot of junk. Yeah. I remember there was a lot of when we Vince and I filmed it like over a year ago before we took over management, and uh, there's like six kids and like five adults. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty fucked up. So and he's getting the. Uh, All right, y'all got this, you guys. What's up? The, the washing machine that they didn't turn the water off. It's not turning the water off. It's kind of plastic. Now turn the water off. If I disconnect this washing machine, the water is going to float into the house. We could just turn off the main 
Yeah, I know the main Because I always say try to hit the main before I even try. I don't want to be too good the big right. water anywhere. No, yeah, for sure. Especially with it getting colder. Yeah. I mean, it's probably probably a better idea to turn it's it off usually, anyway. I, I, I probably turned the main off before I left anyway. Yeah, we'll check it out. Mm. Yeah, it's usually better to turn the main off. Right here. I hate when I turn that valve and it doesn't stop. It's off. It's off. We're doing it. No, it's not. No, I don't think it is. But it's probably just yeah, it'll be residual. Yeah, it could. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. God damn. I ain't been on doing something yeah. like that. <laughs> That's just extra water pressure. It should turn off. I did turn that off, right? Yeah. You know what? You have a lot more pressure when you got water in there. Yeah. Yeah. I might have turned it off when I hit that switch. Up. It's going down. Uh, yeah, you're good. Over there. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. the main's over in that corner. Okay, that's Yeah. 
Sounds like Austin Powers taking a piss over there. I'm gonna follow. See if I can find the locks. Okay. I'm gonna go around with Matt. See if he needs any help too. If you need me to do anything, just let me know. Will do. Just the other thing I got for you is just to talk to her for the. Okay. Yeah, I got the card. Cool. Uh, can't go up there. Sweet backyard, honestly, dude. It's like a jungle out here. Yeah, this back porch has potential.
when they were just drinking the water. Okay, I think. I'm sorry, I'm so thirsty. Uh, I, there should still be some in the pot. Is it not, there's nothing in there at all? There's nothing coming out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a leak down there. That could be why, too. Pretty dope table. Drill some shit shot. No fireplace. Built-in units. Other. Well, what do you think, Matt? Great. <laughs> it's great, dudes. This is it. It's living the dream. Actually, aren't terrible. Oh, I got a this. I needed that hydro level, I forgot. Oh, that. shit. Ooh. That's part of it? <laughs> yeah. Let's give it a ballpark. 13.
A, B. C, C is the rear wall. C. Not as bad as I thought. No. This is definitely a salvageable. Yep. I mean, you gotta get fucking <laughs> utilities figured out. Yeah. The water. Are you going to the basement yet? Mm -hmm. The water, once they unhook the washer, which just kept running. Oh, the big was broken? They, they couldn't find hey, the rain. He's going to the tree line, right? Tree line, out here. Right yours. And, uh,. So Gary, we found the main, Gary shut it off, and then it starts shooting out, and it's still leaking right now. It's probably, I think it's just all the residual though. Undo? Yeah. Does it say you just leave it? <laughs> yeah. Why did you do that? Uh, Goes room by room, right? Uh, yeah, but they're in a different order than. So, like, I need to do. Technically, the next thing I was supposed to do was the basement. I can't get down there yet. Will they do the bedrooms last? Yeah. Probably because. On this sheet, yeah. The they're smallest, last. probably. The bedrooms and the common stuff are less. Right. Uh, there's one door in the kitchen. Yeah, there's three total doors. I think you can get downstairs now. 
Shoes gonna get wet though. Forgot how much it sucks being in a house when it has no yeah. heat. Yeah. Lower cabinets. Two. <laughs> Two. Replace. Broken. Inside sink base. There do be a faucet. Kitchen Sounds like Gary's working on locks right now. Break none, stove none, hood none, dishwasher none. Floor damage, no laminate, replace. Is um, S, S question mark? Into pictures. Walls. They do be walls. Repairs minor. Ceiling repair major big ass holes. <laughs> you calling something? No. Oh. I heard Paint. that too. I already said whole house, so I'm just gonna put the check marks there. Light fixture one. You just gotta mark like how many? Yeah. Place fan of blind. One. one fixture. G two one. One. Yes. It's amazing that all the windows, the screens are in them. These, these guys are here. Hello. Check you out. This is my boy. Yeah. Hey. What's up, man? Hey. This is Dave. All right. Um. Yeah, I guess my guy's saying they grab the washer and dryer and other lace start big blue stuff. Um, we got two options. We can sit there and you guys pay us to wash or pick blue stuff, or we can just clear that thing out. So, yeah, clear it out. Huh? It's up to you if you want us to. Yeah, you, you might know, you might as well just clear it out. It's all good. Okay. Second thing, uh, far as Akron pickup, Akron does come back and pick everything up only on the tree line. So I've done jobs in Akron for it. And we it was a whole house like that. I drove by yesterday, so I know it was a whole house. Right. But uh, a whole house. And whatever's on the tree line, you got to still call a dumpster back for it. And you can still much around. It's, it's fit in the clean rooms kind of apply. Um, so I'll detail you want us to go. If you want us to fill the tree line up. You really want us to go. Or that's it so I can get it or whatnot. So. That's why we kind of more kind of do whatever she wants. And we don't know if it's trash. We, uh, same as if we don't get the trash. Oh, man. Obvious person belongs. Right, That's right, right. <laughs> what, um, what do you think? I mean, just for now, throw it on the tree lawn. Tree down up. Yeah, if we yeah, got, if we, kind of yeah, fill up the tree lawn as much as you can, and then okay. I'll call John and see if we gotta come how back, he wants to go forward. We'll come back with the dump truck if yeah. there's too much of it. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so do your thing. Just do, do your job, Styles. Uh, knock it out. Get a tree line. I'll probably bury your idea shoulder. You're going to tell them to hurt somebody. 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 You're going to tell them to I mean, I'm just going to charge it to the owner. Yeah, it's all going to take our group set out. 
I'd rather be back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn it, it is a thorn. Oh, damn How much more you got in the kitchen? Kitchen all the time. Door. I'm gonna say replace. Yeah. This broke as fuck. Alright, uh. Next is bathroom. Which is upstairs. Bathroom and bedrooms. I'll do this basement last since they're still working down there. Word. Bathrooms are pretty full. Their bedrooms are better. We just that's what you have to do with food. Shit on the carpet and shit, that's why I said fucking come on.
Yeah. Can I just put my stuff on the porch and then take it to the truck? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. You're taking it. Yeah, yeah if you're taking it, that's fine. Yeah, I'm taking it. But yeah. he won't give me a minute to take it. He, he's throwing my stuff on the curb. Yeah, they they're on a time crunch. So yeah, so they're, they're on a time crunch. crunch. I would say whatever you're gonna get. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to. All the stuff we're trying to take it downstairs and put it on the truck. Okay. Yeah, I would say leave it on the porch and if like if you gotta come back for it, you mean? Yeah. That should be okay. Okay, he said we can leave it on the porch. Yeah, as long as you're coming back for it, it should be good. Unless it's trash, though. Anything you yeah, don't want. Trash. I'm this.
But Gary, are you all right? No. He's one lock short though, um, so he's not changing the locks on the rear screen, uh, security door. That's fine. But he is doing the inner door. I was like, that's fine, dude. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. That drew a part of the house. What's that? That Check this one. Yeah, that's why it's open. Yo, that's a four grate. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was. The person who lived here moved. They step out already. Yeah. This is all trash for Yep. Yeah. yeah, I honestly I was gonna tell you guys down there, I think that's the only thing in here that's not trash. I would assume that that is trash. It's fucked. It, it is, but I'm gonna take it downstairs if y'all want it down. You know that's what I mean? Fine. Yeah, no, it's, they basically said as much stuff on the curb as we can. Yeah, like so you said, it's probably trash. It's got a goddamn I'm broken leg. I'll tell you what, if she wants to come back pick it off the, the tree lawn before they pick it yeah, up tomorrow, it's fine by me, right? I, I wouldn't let her eat too much on that porch, though. 
No, I know. I'm gonna tell her that's that's gonna be. I'm gonna hang out for a while, and make sure. Yeah, we're gonna be here. You know, they keep saying they're gonna do something, but one thing about it, they don't have a truck. Yeah, right. A pickup truck ain't a truck. No, now right. we be talking about this. Mm -hmm. And it's full. Why are they still here? Yeah. Well, she she told me she was gonna run up the street and come back. I was like, all right, man. Whatever yeah. you wanna grab. Feel free. But, 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 I think they're gonna do it. I'm gonna get a job, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Hey, thanks for not caving her shit either. Yeah. For asking us. I oh, yeah, because I don't work for her. Yeah, yeah right. I know. Yeah, that's for you And I, I appreciate that. that. We gotta do what y'all want to do. For sure. No, we, I understand they very talking about they want to pay somebody. No, that's not. If hey, you want to pay somebody, you can go find somebody, somebody gone, to do it. You know, yeah, I, right. Yeah. should have did that yesterday. Right. Or two weeks ago, when they, whenever, whenever she moved I out. I can't say I don't work for y'all. I didn't even start working for her. They ain't charging y'all. That don't work. I got like you. That. I got you. Yeah, that's got to work like that. No matter how cool people are, if I knew it would be like that. <laughs> uh, we appreciate it, man, for sure. Yeah, you guys well, did good work. Made light work. Man. Oh, man. If we didn't have these guys, we'd be fucked. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit. And the view would <laughs> Shit, you fair up. I've been that top down before. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> so I'll get out of here, we'll go to Canton, take care of that stuff. That won't take long. The drive's gonna be the most time to clean apart. Yep. You gonna hold something? No, nah, you're good. You got all that shit in your hand. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck. Well, that's all the way. Won't we'll lock? No. No, we need Is to. This, one, this one's not out of the way, though. There we go. There it is. We're still off. You know what? That's locked enough. Good enough. If anybody wants to climb up here. Wow, I'm locked. Here. Good enough. One is one of the dark. I made a note that the window doesn't properly fit in the sash anyway, so. Okay. I don't know what the protocol is for air conditioners. You should take them out. God damn. Okay. Hey, Get up here? Everything up here. I need that. Do not feel that. Another picture. Go ahead. Now you'll be like, why do you take two pictures of fucking everything? Because I wanted to be thorough. Well, I don't know. Yeah, right? I don't know what any of this shit is, I'm fucking scared. You already did all this? Yeah. Damn, yeah, that was quick. I still have to do the basement, though. That's alright, it's pretty open. Changed are the ones on that security door right there. Yeah, that's fine, and we can put that board. I put the board back. Yeah, so that'll work. You only had a four pack. Only had a couple four packs. Damn. That is what it is. Little dragonfly coat hook, dude. That's pretty cool.
Seems like that water stopped. Yeah, I think we're good there. Well, I guess it's a good thing that electric is off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's why it, it just started pouring water. <laughs> water was from this thing here. No, but well, yeah, I'm mean, saying because it's yeah. so the, the Right. It was dry though before we moved the fucking thing. But yeah, it's clearly some excess water damage. I really hope they weren't keeping a dog in that thing, man. Junction boxes are tapped. The smoke one, the CO2. That will never be your issue. That's why the bowl's under it because it kept leaking. We were, and after we shut off the main, too, it was like, oh, well. Pictures were selfies. <laughs> All right, John, I did the bid. 216 selfies. <laughs>
what you want to see.
Okay. Okay, they got this stuff is still this is the stuff they're coming to get. I think so. I think stuff on the porch, I don't know. I mean, we might have to have them put it on the curb and they can just get, get it from there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, he did get that security door. It's kind of weird that the bailiff should have bailed because Deb left us. Well, he said everybody was cool, so he's going to dip out. That's a good question. I don't know. It's like clearly part of the screen, though. This Bag? Uh, oh. See, that's why these body cams suck. Yeah. Oh, bro, did it die? Probably. It's been, I guess it's been going for a couple hours now, huh? What time is it? I don't know. Uh, fucking 12 o'clock almost. Hey, you want to throw this in the cup holder? Tighten it up. We get down to Canton, we'll answer emails and all that bullshit. Uh -huh. You know, our primary job. Yeah. <laughs>
Good times, good times. Yo, what's the cutoff point? I thought it was 30 minutes and it was 29.55. Yo, I think we tell them move everything from the porch to the tree lawn if they're not back by the time they're ready to go because then they're Yeah, they could just pull it off the tree lawn if they want. That guy's clearly drunk, right? It's it's either I mean, could you blame him? If, you know? <laughs> also, no, it's fucking raining. Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> Take over. Man, I guess so. I was gonna go piss. Film it. Piss on my ass. Document it. Show in the middle of the thing. Okay. Potentially. Hey, man, you only got one little battery line left. I know. What are you doing? You'd be out here filming, dude. How long did you film? The whole time? The whole time. So, two hours of footage so far? Roughly. Plus, plus body cam. Body cam head. and the. Uh... Hey, so, the one. Check this shit in there? Yeah. He's like eating crackers or something while you were doing your thing. I just had the camera on here. Oh. Wild. You see Gary changing locks, them taking stuff out of it. He's eating crackers. Yeah, I would say if they're not back. Whatever you call, man. I say if they're, if they're not back by the time you guys are ready to go, if you want to move that shit to the tree lawn, because they can grab it off the tree lawn too. They're probably almost ready to go if they made it to the base already. Yeah. What do you think, Lori? Have a move that shit too. I don't want to put it on like the sidewalk. I got you. Yeah, no, we're running out of tree lawn space. Yeah, if we can fill up this little yeah. area and be done with it, then that's cool. Just as much as you can. I mean, you, fuck them. you only got so much room, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, that's why I say you kind of done outside. Right. Yeah, but they, they do don't. at least do the pickups. So yeah, cool. right. Yeah, so we don't got to worry about that. They'll, yeah, but I mean, they probably won't pick the shit up that's like on the apron, no, right? No, But you too. won't get a ticket either. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, okay. No. That's uh, kind of what I... In Cleveland, you got to have it up by five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what we're used to. So yeah, we're, we're used, used to, to having... It up. I'm like, oh, shit, really? Are you I'm looking at it like... I, I, mean, I mean, I see them getting some of this back. It's going... Oh, and it's going to two that go. That's what it's going I'm sure we'll get a call. Yeah, yeah. The city will call. They'll, They'll be call. mad. They're always mad. They're always mad. I can't read the time of day, Jim. No, no, you shouldn't no, have to. No, I, I appreciate you. Yeah, I would just say quick deal to him. I understand, but I mean, I they had all week. Well, they had they had two months now. Yeah, because we came out here once before, a month and a half. Yeah, ago. but I got a picture. Yeah, yeah. 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 something like this. I'm gonna come in through here. Yeah, uh, door still on the hinges, that's all I care about. Hey, what the fuck, man? This door don't... Uh.
flocking those and they didn't seem like they were on there very well. Yeah. You should I lock this up? Yes, I had to go outside to do the screen because uh Did you open the screen door? Yeah. I told you don't open the fucking screen door. It's hot though. You gotta go outside, squeeze your fingers in there. Yeah. You gotta pull this away. Oh. Yes, sir. Check these fucking locks. What? This one's not lined up, but yeah, it's not with the other one. What is the other one? Is the door bent? Because I didn't check that one. Yeah. The door's open. Yeah. The door's all fucked. I'm getting behind and shit. I think it's off by like a millimeter. All right. All right. <laughs> I mean, you just do the best you can, you know? Like you Not know. really. Alright, that's good. Yeah, if you know one lock. Alright, uh, you wanna hold this on the wrong stairs and piss? Yeah. yeah. And basically just make sure there's nobody in here. Yeah, right. I don't know where everybody's at. Sorry about that. I'm going to match this one a bit too. I don't know where Thompson's at. They left. They're done. They didn't take my card. We got a call. Oh, okay. That's easy. Yep. Just that number that they gave us, that should be loud for days. That works. Probably.
and then we're good. I imagine we are not the issues on site. I have no idea. I would take them. Or maybe drill them into a... Yeah, it's probably not bad. I checked everything out here. He screwed two shots. Yeah, he screwed that one there. He looks better than one down there. Honestly, at this point, I think me and Vince can probably handle this at some point. I was going to say, I'll come back and we'll just get the rest of that. With a couple garbage bags. Alright. So. Yeah, there's only so much you can fit on the tree lawn. So. Anything you want to say to the whole Lions fans? I just watched you follow me silently for two hours today. I think <laughs> it'd be funny if they put the, uh, the initial walkthrough video that Vince and I did like a year or so ago. Oh, that would be cool. Do a before and after. That would be sweet. It is honestly in a lot better shape than I was expecting. There was yeah. a lot of trash and stuff, but like I was expecting more holes and walls. And, they, and they've been here for a long time. They, yeah. So you so kind of, of some of this stuff's kind of disrupted too. It's actually better than I Yeah, because you can't put so much on the tree line anyway. Right, I gotta grab my iPad, take more, more pictures. We'll clock. We'll be here. Gotta grab a lockbox for. Are we, are we leaving them on site? I don't know. You, you, you want to talk to John? And I wouldn't. Yeah, let's just take a knife. Okay. Next person that comes back on this thing. Okay, Because the next people will be either myself or Vince anyway, so. Right. Just gotta make it up if there aren't any outside. Mm -hmm. Just because it's a really quiet neighborhood, yeah. so nobody's gonna call if somebody That's cares. That's where I was thinking maybe on. do a, like drill it into the door frame. But even then, but even, in, there's a vacant lot across the street, I just cut it off. Right. So, so, yep. Alright, I think that's it. I think we're good to wrap it up. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.